Hello, my friends. Let's find out what happens in Mr. Penguin and the Lost Treasure, Chapter 12. An unexpected alligator. There was absolutely no doubt about it. They were definitely sitting on the knobbly back of an enormous alligator who appeared to be very hungry indeed. For a few moments, no one did anything. Then everyone did everything very quickly. The alligator began thrashing about wildly in the water. Montague leapt into the river with a strangled yelp and tried to swim away. Miss Bone screamed and tried to stand up on the alligator's back to run, but she slipped, scrambling about in midair for a few seconds, then splashed into the water. Mr. Penguin shoved the map into his satchel and joined her. Colin calmly popped his pad back under his bowler hat and narrowed his eyes. Judging the moment just right, he ran down the alligator's snout and biffed it right in the nose. The alligator snapped its jaws and roared, but Colin was too quick. He leapt over the beast's mouth, giving it another good bop on the snout mid-jump. Then he splashed into the water and swam as quickly as he could toward Mr. Penguin. He wasn't a moment too soon. Poor Mr. Penguin was desperately trying to keep his satchel with the map and his sandwich in it above the water. Colin reached him and held on to one of Mr. Penguin's flippers, which gave Mr. Penguin the confidence to start treading water with his feet. I knew I should have packed my floaties, he cried over the roaring sounds of the river and the chomp, chomp, chomp of the alligator's jaws as it gnashed toward them. What do we do now, called Miss Bones, clambering onto her brother's enormous shoulders. Mr. Penguin tried to think, which was very hard when faced with an extremely hungry alligator, but the alligator had stopped gnashing its jaws and was glaring over the adventurer's shoulders at something behind them. It yelped, twisted around, and swam madly against the flow of the river. What is it doing now, cried Mr. Penguin. With Colin's help, he splashed around and saw what had frightened the beast. They were all rapidly heading toward a waterfall, shouted Mr. Penguin. We're heading toward a waterfall. Everyone turned to look in horror at the river falling away into nothingness. Before he could do anything, Mr. Penguin was thrown over the watery edge. Join me tomorrow for chapter 13.